If you ever been stuck on the side of the road doing a five mile an hour D-rate and your truck is not allowing you to do a park regen, well today I'm gonna show you how to do a force regen using our DTC AFT reset tool. We're gonna do this procedure on a 2015 Volvo with a D13 engine. So to start the force regen process, we're gonna start the engine. Let it run at idle at operating temperature, the parking brake applied, and the PTO switch on off position. We're gonna hook up the force region enabled reset tool, and then the force region will start in about 30, 30 35 seconds. And we're gonna do that right now. As you can see, it says region in progress. On the bottom left of the cluster, you got the DPF temperature light on. That's because the DPF filter is getting hot to burn off the soot. Depending on how much soot level you have in your DPF filter, the, re the force region process will take anywhere from 30 minutes to over an hour. So just let your truck finish the process and then your region will be complete. So all the Volvos from 2014 and up, they have an OBD2 connector in the diagnostic port. Your average shop usually has just a 9-pin and it's really hard to get these trucks into a service shop besides the dealer to do a force region. So this tool will help you and be able to do a force region on any time, anywhere you're at. It's just simple as that. You start the truck, hook it up, and in 35 seconds, the force region started. A force region can only be initiated using a scan tool. You cannot do this from the cluster. So you either need it to take it to the dealer or buy the expensive premium tech tool laptop, software, and the Nexa connector. And that could easily run anywhere from $3,000 to $6,000, depending on the options you choose. So with this tool, having it handy and being able to do this force region at any time comes very beneficial to you and save you a lot of money. So if you try to do a force region using this tool and it does not initiate it, you'll have to go into the ATS status and check every system and make sure you don't have a check by it. If you do, you have to take care of the issue and then you can do the force region. The way to check ATS status is very simple and you can simply do it with your uh, buttons on the wiper stock and it'll, you'll follow a couple menus on the screen. So we're going to check the ATS status. We're at the home screen. We're going to hit the escape button. It brings down the menu. We scroll down to the after treatment. Hit enter. I'm going to go to the ATS status. As you can see here, we have all the systems. Some of them say NA because they're not available. And then the rest are OK. On the temporary lockout, it says check. That's because you cannot do a park regen. Because the requirements are not met, it could be that your soot level is not high enough, as you can see here. And if you want to do a force regen, you can only do it by doing a force regen, where you can do it with our reset tool, that's force enabled regen, or you can do it with the diagnostic laptop, with the premium tech tool. As you can see, the region just finished. We're gonna let the truck idle so that the DPF filters can cool down. The region was very simple. As you can see, it took only a few seconds to initiate. If you have any questions or comments, let us know. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website, otrperformance.com, for more information. Until next time, keep falling.